So there's so much stigma when it comes to needle exchange and I just feel like that people need to know that it's more than just passing out a needle. Hello, I'm Rachel and I work for UK. I help run the syringe exchange program at the Powell County Health Department. Part of the program is making sure that participants have everything they need to help prevent the spread of infectious diseases. But another big part of that is having a peer support specialist come who is able to relate with the participants who come in and it's somebody that they can talk to, someone they trust, and her name is Wendy. Hey guys, my name is Wendy Anderson. I work for Spark Ministries. I'm a peer support specialist and I come to Needle Exchange on Monday and Thursday just to to meet people exactly where they're at. I'm also in recovery and have walked it and am walking it today and know exactly where these participants are at and the things that they need to help them recover. It's just about helping people and um, meeting with that crowd and offering them treatment and, and saying, hey, you know, here I am, I'm sober, I'm, I'm, I did it, you can do it too, and this is what kind of programs we got today that can help you to get into recovery and to walk it. And I think it's also about just saying, hey, I'm here and I care. Yeah. Because they think a lot of people don't care due to the stigma. So when you take the time to meet somebody where they're at, then that gives them the chance to know that I'm worth something and people are here to help me. But it gives us also the opportunity to see people that don't typically go into doctor's offices or anywhere else because they don't want to be judged or they don't want to feel judged. So it gives them the opportunity to get help outside of those places. One story that comes to mind is um, I met a lady out front and um, I could tell that she was hopeless and she was at her breaking point and I offered her treatment. She told me that she wasn't ready that day but she would call me. She did call me the next week and uh, we, I was able to get her into treatment and she's doing amazing today. And we have stuff like that happen all the time. Even if they're not ready to get the help or ask for something in the moment, they know who they can call to get the help that they want when they're ready to take that step. I always give them my card and I say, you know, here's my card, call me. My cell phone number's on there. I don't care if it's three o'clock in the morning and you're in a trap house. If you're ready and you you want it to change, just call me, I'll come get you. You know, and, and we'll get you into a safe place and into treatment and um, you don't have to live like this anymore. But I think that also shows the importance of you like building the relationship with people as you're, because just because they don't want help the first time they speak mm -hmm. to you, doesn't mean they might not the next month, or right. even like in that case it was the next week. The more they see mm -hmm. you. And she knew to call you and it wasn't even during exchange hours, so mm -hmm. it's like that just shows why that's so important, I think. Needle exchange is so much more than just giving out needles, it's about making connections and building relationships. It's been really awesome to see different participants who come in who maybe feel low or feel hopeless get to build these relationships with somebody that they feel like they can relate to and uh, get the help that they need.